Hello everybody and welcome to the final of the Rubicon Casual Tournament which I was very kindly being asked to uh, cast uh, on this particular tournament itself. The sixth tournament has been hosted by the Rubicon team um, and it's a privilege to be able to do this today. I'm actually casting it for the final uh, between Anarchy and Happy Souls. Both of them made it uh, to the final of this tournament and it's a best of three uh, round matchup. This is the first of the three. Uh, Happy Souls is playing as the Egyptians and we're uh, facing the Roman Empire, obviously controlled by Anakin at that place. So let's have a quick look and see what we've got in terms of units here. So Happy Souls is bringing the citizen cavalry to support. He's got his Thorax swordsman, Egyptian pikemen in the center there, while some of the Midian spearmen. We've got some camel archers and some skirmish units and elephants as well as his general units. Looking at Anarchy here, he's got some auxiliary uh, archers. He's got a nice uh, a mixture of Socrates, Aquitaires and auxiliary cavalry. He's got his legionary cohort on the right flank there. So he's going to provide the, 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 the meat, the heart of the, uh, the, the army for him. And yes, this is going to be quite an epic battle. Let's see how this one plays out. Fantastic battle map to play this one on. Uh, as you can see there, it's quite an interesting terrain to play this one and to see how they will manoeuvre their troops around it. Um, so yes, we've got a quite a number of uh, legionary cohort that uh, will be used, I'm sure, by Anarchy to really go for the melee attack with them and his skirmishers support with his Velites. Now, uh, Happy Souls has got the Thorax Swordsman that could provide the 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 winning formula for him today. Well, he's got his Midian Spearman as well, which uh, could help against the cavalry charges by Socrates Aquites. But the Ptolemaic cavalry may be used to great effect by Happy Souls. See how we're going to use against them as well. Uh, but this is a great tournament to say, guys. You've seen my let's plays or of me playing in the tournament last time. I wasn't able to unfortunately play it this time. But uh, as I say, Zix, uh, I think it's uh, Zix says who's um, or Zix says who um, actually hosts and runs the tournament. I very kindly asked you to cast it this time for the final. So this is a great opportunity to be able to do this. I'm really looking forward to be able to see these two uh, clashes or th best of three clashes, I'd say, and see what happens. Uh, in the next few battles, but yes, uh, well done to both Happy Souls and Anarchy, of course, for getting to the final. And um, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's better, it's great for me to be able to just sit back and relax and watch and play these these battles out. I'm used to playing the battles myself, and it's not easy. So being able to sit back and relax and watch it all unfold in front of me is going to be quite uh, enjoyable. Um, so yeah, so the battle is starting now. They're both ready to go. So they're going to move forward, see what happens. The rules are, of course, in these let's, these tournament uh, let's plays that you cannot, you know, hold out, be defensive too much. You have to both meet at middle ground. So, uh, which is, I think, the best way for tournament rules to be. You can't have a defender all the time and abuse the uh, defensive uh, positioning of a of an army. It's good to be able to both meet in the middle and see if the manoeuvring of tactics and moving of the men is. Uh, or which one prevails, should to say, by doing that. So look at that. Anarchy's moving his general bodyguard straight through the centre there. He's got his cavalry on the left-hand flank there, as well he's got some cavalry on the right side. Uh, citizen cavalry, cavalry by Happy Souls and Ptolemic cavalry on the left flank that will probably provide some support against their cavalry charge by Anarchy, possibly. Uh, he's got a... Looks like anarchy has got most of the Socrates Akates on that left flank. He's got to maybe swoop across with them. Um, it's a bit of a standoff at the moment to see who commits and moves first, who breaks the uh, the standoff. Legionary cohort mustering on that left flank as well too. Or sorry, right flank. Oh no, actually no, it's not. It's the centre, uh, more the centre actually to provide support for the Syrian archers. We're going to be firing in. Got good range, hopefully, to fire in at Happy Souls, his troops. And we'll just get with his chat here. So we've got yeah. Looks a bit of a confusion with the unit selections. Oh, never mind. I think they're carrying on. Okay, so interesting. Happy Souls has brought most of his units in the centre. Whereas Anarchy has provided most of the support on that right flank. Here we go, try and 
Um, see what he can do, manipulate that right side of Happy Souls' army. He's moving in slowly but surely against uh, the left flank. He's got his wide line of legionary cohort. No, he's not actually. It's the auxiliary, auxiliary infantry, so you're going to go across there. He's trying to tempt Happy Souls to move in on him. Now, Happy Souls on the right flank has moved his Ptolemy cavalry, cavalry and Citizen Cavalry across. He's going to try and make a move possibly soon. But, of course, Anarchy's got that unit of spearmen on the left hand side, which will protect him very well against the cavalry's uh, units crossing across, coming across. Now, the Syrian archers are firing in now. They are trying to break down the pikemen, which hopefully Happy Souls will try and move back. They don't want to leave him there unattended, as they will get broken down very easily. Now, Anarchy's moving his units back. He's tempted Happy Souls to move in on him. See what Happy Souls does with his, uh, his elephant units as well. It'd be interesting to see how they can try and turn the battle in this episode or this let's first round, as I say. I keep saying episode used to my let's plays, of course, but this is round one. So it'd be interesting to see, as I say, how he moves his uh, his Egyptian elephants across. Now it looks like Happy Souls again is trying to attempt. Anarchy to move and make the first move. It's a bit of a cat and mouse situation we're getting at the moment, but it already, look at the Syrian archer, they've broken down those pikemen quite well. So he needs to move them back as they're going to get uh, struck down pretty easily. The range of the Syrian archers is fantastic, uh, a lot better than your standard Valite op um, option you've got at the beginning of the uh, Roman army or the beginning of the game that the Roman ar army offers to you. So the Syrian archers, obviously the auxiliary archers, which are fantastic later on as you start to conquer uh, parts of Syria in the game. So, his cavalry are mustered on that left flank. It's, it's, he's sort of trying to position them at some point to try and maybe move in on that left flank of Happy Souls, or right flank, I should say, if you're looking at his side. Um, looking over here, we've got his Ptolemy cavalry which are trying to hide in the bushes there to see what they can try and start a view of anarchy, trying to maybe get them be ignored at the moment hopefully hopefully they will be uh, spotted by Anarchy I'm hoping so Happy Souls will try and keep them out of the way for the moment but he's starting to move his main army further in the centre there Syrian archers are continuing to fire on those pikemen which is a shame because the pikemen could have produced some some problems for Anarchy if he'd try to move them in, but he's not, he's keep, keeping them there and they are getting broken down pretty easily now. Now, Anarchy again with his cavalry, going to try and manoeuvre on that left flank. He's got his legionary cohort and Valites in the centre, they're providing, as I say, the heart of the army there. And he's got his uh, auxiliary infantry on that right flank protecting that cavalry, which are now pinned down and not moving at all from Happy Souls. Probably Happy Souls knows the threat the auxiliary infantry will produce at defending them against the cavalry, so he's keeping them there at the moment. And the Syrian archers are continuing. Look at that, Happy Souls is doing nothing with those uh, pikemen units. They are staying there and not being manoeuvred back. And eventually, looking like they will be wavering of it, uh, any moment, actually, on that right side there. Now, just having a quick look across here, what we can do. Now, the the archers, the skirmish units of the Egyptians are firing back now against the legionary cavalry. Broken a couple of two of their units down already. But look at that, the pikemen are starting to waver now, unfortunately. They have been whittled down. Look at that, 33 left. Hardly anything left of that army or that unit there. So it's a shame Happy Souls not being able to use them better in the, f in the battle. So he's moving his right flank here. Let's see how he moves with them. He's got his Nubidian spearmen there. Anarchy moving back, he's moving well actually, he's tempted them to move in, Happy Soul, he's tempted them to move across and then he's literally having his whole army sitting on that ridge now, of course with the Syrian archers firing up from the uh, the higher ground which is well done, but here we go, look at the cavalry charge in from Happy Souls, he's got the citizen cavalry engaging with legionary cavalry, that won't last very long and of course now uh, Anarchy's moved in his legionary, cav so his, his legionary uh, cohort to provide the support of the cavalry charge there 
by Anarchy, so it's not going to last for long now, unfortunately. And look at that, the Citizen Cavalry are already wavering. Now we've got some clash here, we've got Legionary Cohort against the Thorax Swordsman. This is going to be pretty epic. Look at that, units clashing now. Bit of lag, unfortunately. But now we have got engagements right across this right flank here. And look at this now, Anarchy is going across to charge. And it looks like Happy Souls is replying with the charge of his own with the Egyptian elephants. Now the African war elephants are going straight in now to the battle. Look at that, straight in, clashing there. That's course wavering from the uh, Roman infantry. And the Socrates Aquitet are now charging across against the Nibidian Spearmen and the Citizen Cavalry. He's got his general unit now, Anarchy, coming across to try and support that centre. Happy Souls beautifully moving that Citizen Cavalry behind the uh, Roman Empire, Roman army, should say, there at the back. Don't think Anarchy's seen them. Hopefully he can try and use them and charge in the rear of the Roman uh, cohort in a second, but he has actually brought his Socrates Equites across as well, I think, now. Um, that looks like Anarchy there to support the, uh, the cohorts behind him. Now, Happy Souls now giving another charge with his ele elephants going into legionary cohort. See if he can try and waver them more. But then... Anarchy is brought across from both sides, his legionary cohort, auxiliary infantry and Socrates Equites across. Engagement over in the distance there with his cavalry units. Don't think the Egyptian uh, African one elephants will hold out much longer. They're getting attacked from various sides now. And they are starting to, uh, yeah, they are starting to waver now. He's got his armies and his three, Happy Soldier's got his three units of cavalry. He's now, in, as I was just saying, he's, they are stagnant, but they are moving in now. He's got his legionary cohort now engaged with a couple of units of Thorax Swordsmen. That's going to be pretty uh, tense in that centre there. But it's not looking good for Happy Souls. I think uh, Anarchy's got this one by the looks of things. And his legionary cohort in the centre there is, is uh, wavering against the Thorax Swordsman, but I don't think... Uh, Happy Souls has got enough left in him to be able to win this battle. General Bodyguard now from Anarchy is coming across to support the Legionary Cohort and to engage that Thoric Swordsman in the centre. Uh, we've got fighting tooth and nail there. The Egyptian uh, Thoric Swordsman still holding out quite well there. Engagement on the right hand side now. The cavalry have been brought in by Happy Souls and the Legionary Cohort are fighting strongly, trying to hold off the uh, cavalry charges. They've disengaged now, Happy Souls has brought them back out to try and re reform, I think, and try and do another shot cut charge in a, in a second. <laughs> Looks like there's a little skirmish off going over here, though. Legionary Cavalry trying to fend away the camel archers in the side of the battlefield over there, a little tiny skirmish, which will, I don't, no doubt, have no effect on the overall outcome here. But looks like Happy Souls is trying to have a last dis attempt at charging across now with his Ptolemic Cavalry and his Accident Cavalry as well. But as I say, I don't think it's, I think it's a little too late here. Anarchy has got this one by looks like he's committed his south in the centre perfectly with his, char his mixture of cohort and Legionary Cavalry and Citizen Cavalry as well. And so not Legionary Cavalry, I think it was his Secretary Equites, but yeah. Him moving his forces and holding strong in the centre there was, I think, the 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 winning formula there. And, of course, his Syrian archers breaking down the enemy from range wonderfully. So that is the end of round one. Anarchy has got this one. So uh, let's see how he can do and if Happy Souls can reply in round two. But uh, we'll soon find out. So that will be the next episode. So until then, this is Warrior Spotter saying goodbye for now. Ciao.